Hey guys, this is Jeff Veronimo and for today's video, I will teach you how you can shoot food photos without any flash or LED lights. So we will use just the ambient light available in our home and I already prepared the food that we will shoot today and this is called Pancit Canton with the fried pork belly and egg rolls. So feel free to use any props that you want with the food that you will shoot but make sure that the props that you will use is relevant to the food that you are shooting. So here's our setup. So I have a piece of cloth, the food, coffee, and a plant as just to add an accent to our scene and just enjoy this part because it's just like building a city in sim city well this is my favorite part because it's just like i'm playing and styling the food that i'm shooting so right now i'm using my canon eos m50 with its kit lens and just a reminder that if you want to shoot your food with just the ambient light use a tripod and my aperture right now is at f8 because i want my subject to be sharp all the way so since we have a narrow aperture we will use a slower shutter speed so that there will be enough light in our photo my iso is 100 so that i can get the best image quality so here's the photo that we got and edited in lightroom so later on, I will show you how I edit my photos. Since I'm on a tripod, I can easily change the position of my subject and check in the camera if the frame is okay, the composition is good. That's one advantage of using a tripod during a product or food shoot. Another tip is that use a timer at least 2 seconds and use the touch shutter feature of your camera since we have a slower shutter speed, we can prevent micro shutter from our hands. So right now, let's go to the editing part of our shoots. Right now, I'm fixing the composition and framing and the peg for this one is just the korean aesthetic as you may notice our video right now is like a korean vlog and i just like to imitate how they color create their photos and their food with this kind of shoot i noticed that their photos or their editing or their colors are leaning towards brownish tint or the desaturated photo that's the reason why we're adjusting the vibrance instead of the saturation and now we're adjusting the curves and adjusting the mids a little bit. We will now adjust the HSL and let's go first with the yellow to the orange side with increase of saturation and luminance and for the orange one we will not adjust the U but tweak the saturation and luminance a little bit. We will also adjust the red so that the meat will pop a little bit and let's turn these greens into yellow also and adjust the saturation and luminance. For the cyan color, we will just desaturate this part because we don't need any blue tones here in our photo. Since we're shooting raw, we will adjust this sharpness and we will ignore the luminance and we will remove the chromatic aberration and correct the lens profile. For the finishing touch, you can add brush strokes just to bump up that highlights and to add some dynamics in your photos. So right now, I'm emphasizing the sun rays in our photo so that it can have that morning feeling in a bright sunny day. So here's the before and after of this photo. 
Here are the final edited photos also with different color grading or color style with Korean aesthetic feels and feel free to edit all your photos just like this one and enjoy the process and also just a reminder we didn't use any flash and LED lights here so you can try this at home even if you're just starting your photography journey once again this is Jeff Ronimo and I hope you like this kind of video and I hope you learned a lot in this food photography tutorial if you want to know more about photography, videography, editing, and vlogging, consider clicking the subscribe button. And also, if you want to support this channel and me creating more videos in the future, consider clicking our Buy Me A Coffee site link in our description box below. Once again, this is Jeff Ronimo. See you on my next one. Bye. Peace.